EC and Trade Technical Webinar. Good morning. My name is Rob Clayton. The Australian dollar price action on Friday was very whipsawed as the market plummeted first of all towards the lows of 74.68 and then staged a very impressive rally now pressing up towards the resistance around 75 70 75 on the day i expect to see a range of 74 45 to 75 with weakness to return to 74 60 and it is there that if we get a break of 74 60 which you can see here is, is where all these troughs are then we should get a further indication to the downside with the objective still holding towards 73 and a half However, do note we did break above 75 and a half on Friday. And until we get a break of these troughs, then we could see a rise up towards the sell zone around 76.10 to 76.70, which you can see on the daily, which was the recent rejection. As you can from there, we plummeted. And I expect to see any move up towards this region to do the same, like it did back here um, a couple of weeks ago. What is noticeable as well is the fact that we have got an indication of that the market is breaking down from this stochastic. So it's one to watch for the next couple of hours. The Euro, like the Aussie, stays a very aggressive fall towards 110 before rallying back towards the resistance around about 111.30. From the rejection though, sets the week for a negative move with the immediate target holding towards 109.95, with my objective still holding towards 109.50. Do note a move below 109.50 would expose the target of 107.70. Fresh advances now should find resistance around 110.70, with the cap still holding at 111.30. Don <clears throat> M staged a rally up towards. 101.25 before collapsing back down towards a low of 99.96. Technically, I, I expect to see any advances now for the week towards the um, resistance of 101.10 to 102.10. As a challenge that won't hold, I still feel that the market is poised to fall lower and I expect to see this move from what the broader uh, indicators tell me towards a target of 99.90 and down towards an objective of 98.5 to 98.80. However, like we saw before, towards that 99 region, it's possible that we might see the BOJ intervene and if this is the case then we could see another aggressive rejection from that region and look up towards 103 again. Well, Sterling's price action on Friday, not as aggressive, but still traded in a 129 to 130 20 band. Overall, I still feel further weakness to come through this week. Although the market did challenge that 128 level and no follow through was seen, back here you can see here, we got to 94. Did I expect to see that level tested again around 127.70 and eventually fall towards 127.25 to 124 as an objective with the likelihood of seeing the Bank of England intervening there. Looking towards the upside resistance now seen at 129.65 to 130.25. Gold. Well, this was a very, very impressive move. It fell towards the bull camp, as you can see here which is where these peaks and these troughs are around 138 and then stays the very aggressive rally as you look on the dailies sorry the hourlies towards 170 now looking towards the objective that I'm holding towards 1384 to 1386 a break there would it actually give a measure count up towards around about uh, 1420 but that's the extreme of this move since the rejection of um, the lows of 1,300. Any weakness on the day should again find support around 1,348, with the ball camp still remaining around 1,336 to 38. 
So keep an eye on that level on that top side if we do get a break above 86, because that will project the move up towards 1,400. Well, thank you very much for listening, and I hope you enjoy your day.